Okay. Hmm. My agility is down 24 points. I don't care. Thing in the water. Nothing there. I guess I'm not seeing it. Some things in the water. I don't think I'm missing anything. All the way at the top. I go through this door. There's nothing here. Broken stuff here. Maybe it's just... There's a torch up here. Falls. I looked at all of them. There. And there. Just some rocks. Nothing up here. Nothing here. I I don't know. Let's I guess rest to get some uh get some of my charges back on this dagger. Beard. Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. You'd expect there to be something, right? Am I dumb? I thought I was, yeah, I, th I thought I was very thorough in my search. Like a bucket here. There's a basket. I get that it's supposed to be like ruins of some kind. You can't go through this door. A lit torch is just so strange. That also throws me off. see any like hidden items oh a, se a skeleton like right there though oh there's a box down here it's got some silverware it's not exactly the inability to jump out of water is keep rising for oh it even gives you a levitate potion which would seem to imply... Is that part of a quest? It's like a tiny box. Huh. This longbow is pretty neat. A rusty key. A bone meal. A little chest with nothing in it. A rusty key? The only thing I can think of is that I missed a very tiny locked chest somewhere up up in this room. Oh man. I'm gonna pause and I'll unpause when I find it. If I do. Okay. Okay, I found it. Tell me, would you fucking see this? I guess you do now that your like eyes have noticed the disruption in the pattern, but. Dementium boots. 7k for 15. Let's actually, like, do a quick cost-benefit analysis. Uh, 1 for 500. 17, uh, 15 for 7,000. Uh, reduce the zero, that's 1.5 for 700. Uh, it's, like, getting close. That's getting close. It's, um, it's better than the boots. 4 for 1,000 is like literally on par with the boots.
and it lets me hold adam more into adamantium stuff which is nice my dearest love i have failed you but how i brought you sacks of comberry crates of fine clothes and chests of gold but still you spurn my affections i killed the traitor who robbed you and still you refuse i have sat by your house day after day rain or sun waiting for a hint of your affection but to no avail i grow wary of this life since you have not yet arrived here to meet me i can only assume the worst that I will never feel your soft arms around me or watch you sleep without having to fear the guards that now patrol your land. Goodbye, my darling. Think of me fondly and often, and without reaching for your knife. Alright. Oh, that's a little fucked up. No, that still implies that there's a locked object in here, though. Or Shara. I wonder who Shara is. I should try and take the note not put into my journal but maybe I'll find this Shara um okay the boots are uh, the boots are getting tossed because everything else is significantly better value or at least close to it the pauldrons just barely beat the boots and then these items yeah these items are either on par with or beat the boots I'm not throwing away my soul gems I'm not throwing away my I'll throw away one hand me. <laughs> oh no. I'm just, I gotta get rid of some boots. Goodbye. Some of the Dark Brotherhood boots. What will I do without your easy money? Shit, that wasn't enough. I'll have to throw away a couple more. What are these? Oh, those are mine. <laughs> what to say? Yeah. I'm... I mean, these are better, but I, I'm heavy. You know, I'm a heavy guy. I have a minor in medium. I don't want to. Okay, I guess I'll come back again when I actually find the locked object, if it exists. I've given up. Couldn't find it. If there's something in there, it is very well hidden. Oh, huh, they respawn. Look at that. They bring me back their extremely valuable blades. God, I am full of pauldrons. Oh, you have another... Hit him. Well, guy's got another glass blade. The, yep, the valuable one. Slowly losing my shoes. Hey! <laughs> hey! Like almost everybody in this room <laughs> came back. I am coming out of here a rich man. Just disgustingly rich. Number one, I can come back for the rest of it, but I don't think I will. That is a, a kind of madness that I am not willing to do. Oh my god, they all revived? All of them? I guess I have been in that one cave for, like, technically an in-game two weeks or so. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, throw all the boots on the ground. We're, we're only pauldrons now. At this point, I might leave this cave with nothing but glass knives. <laughs> Which would be very funny. Okay, I didn't mean to exploit the in-game economy in some manner. I simply took part in the things that were presented to me.
Okay, I've already been... Been in that direction to the end. I need to go... Let's go this way. Way behind me. No one to punch. Where if we can find that Shara? You will suffer greatly. I didn't mean to, but I. This is what I have coming out of there. Like 70 pauldrons. And I don't think I'm exaggerating. Huh. I never saw that ghost that she was talking about. And she was standing in front of the. I don't know if I. Oh, I didn't just like. Kill the ghost. Because I. If he was in here somewhere, I absolutely did. Oh, my fatigue is awful. Oh. oh, I'll sell stuff here. I think. Oh man, I should go home. I should definitely go home to sell stuff. Where's that lead? That leads to the power sewers. I hope I didn't accidentally kill her ghost. Hmm. Maybe I'll check the palace sewers. Oh. Do you just stay... Talk to you. Oh, I could have I could have grabbed you. You go into common ones. Which, which one are you? The greater. Okay. This hammer is very good. But just just by its own right, it is very good. Man, these sewers are unkept. <laughs> Full champion. Another grand gem. What is that thing? Got a hunger over there? I don't have another grand gem for it. Where'd it go? <laughs> Actual goblin. 10 to 35. What the fuck? Different, was it? That is. Those are such good stats. Still don't think I've found that lady's husband yet.
another door? Another loading screen. Too much. Too much, too much. Yeah, I mean, it's not a loading screen. Did the weather change? Is it, like, foggy inside? I hope Shara wasn't the name of that woman standing outside of the, uh, the sewers. Oh, hey, it's this place. Oh. Went around. Outside of the manor district. I'd feel real dumb if that was her. Nah, Narissa. In the bizarre sewers. Oh. I don't know, it could be anywhere. It doesn't say where the ghost is, it just says where I met her. It looks so washed out. What happened? It didn't look like this in that other place. And it also didn't look like that here a minute ago. No. Can the goblin go into any of the things that I have? Oh yeah, it goes into a common. Hmm, did a bit of damage. I might have to go home to restock at some point. What? One to sixty on a one-handed. One to sixty on a one handed. It is what it is. All right. It's instantly made my weapon irrelevant. One to sixty on a one handed. Okay. Oh man, I was not prepared for that. Yeah, I can. <laughs> and. I gotta throw some stuff away if I want to bring my my hammer back. Do I want to bring my hammer back? Hmm, I guess so. What do you mean my steel? Uh, what? My adamantium? Because I'm still using them. I'm still using the, uh... Wait. What the hell? Oh, those are ended. Oh, my Imperial Steel boots broke. Huh. That's too bad. Please. How many Strength 55s do I have lying around? It's the one. It was for about three minutes. <laughs> what is that thing? What is that? It's a Durzog. Oh, it's in a gem now. It's in a lesser gem? Again, very surprised. But honestly see that being a bit higher in the list. Steel staff. Oh, it's awful. Fortify strength and agility. That's neat. I like that. I didn't mean to eat it. <laughs> I didn't mean to eat that. 
what I did though. West sewers. It's our sewers. Um. Oh man, I don't want to go that way. I want to. Probably kind of want to just return. I've got so much stuff. I need to go sell it. I might just amulet of recall and then come back here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna offload stuff and then just like come right back here. That's gonna take a second, so I'll pause for it. I. Well, I have another. I have another big dick grand soul gem. And I have instantly found a new club, so I guess I'll just go do that then. <laughs> I'll be back. Alrighty. I forget when I paused, but um, I can't remember if it was for the, the selling process. Uh, but here I am with 158,000 from selling all of those pauldrons and the adamantium and the daggers one at a time, to that, that creeper, and then waiting 24 hours to do it again. So, we have come here for several enchantments. I have brought all of my most expensive items to try and make sure that after each enchantment I can get my money back so I can do the next one. The most important one, I think, even more important than enchanting the club... Although, let me do actually enchant the club real quick with this this hunger. Because I, I, in a quick save, drank all of my int potions, got up to about 2300 int. And then I checked to see if I could enchant things. And the answer was yes, I could. I could enchant things. And not only that, but the enchantment was telling me that I would succeed. So I set up the three enchantments I would have wanted to have done, and then I took a picture to see if I, for some reason, could, like, do it better than the trader. But I don't think that's how it works, but I, I want to I wanna make sure. So I had this at 13. Put it to 13, make sure to mess with the duration just in case. Uh, and then I actually wanted to put shock on this as well. One thing I have noticed about this club, as I, I was told about it, it's not made of metal, so its condition is far less. It does hold enchantment quite uh, decently well, though, for a weapon. So, that's not going to be a huge problem. Cannot do a 13. Okay, as far as I can tell, this is exactly the same. Okay. So that tells me that, in the end, the only difference between me enchanting and going to an enchanter is having to spend the money. And the... I mean, if if I'm even, like, guaranteed to make the enchantment. Because obviously I wouldn't do an enchantment if it doesn't come out with a 100% chance. If that is percentage, I don't know what 352 chance is. I, I would assume that's 352% chance of a success, but... Bad to assume things. Alright, so let us make a one-handed goblin club that beats out any other weapon I've ever seen. That has fire damage 13 and shock damage 12. I thought it would be appropriate to go with a bit of a different damage roll on this. Does that seem good? Alright. This will be the first one. It gets the highest charge. It gets the, the best soul gem because it is a weapon. We will call this the shock and Og, like Og as in, as in pain, or maybe the shock and Arg. Is that okay? Which one do you think I should go with? The shock and Og or shock and Arg? Og, okay. I'll put an exclamation point in there because it's funny. Cast wind strikes, fire damage 13, shock damage 12. On high roll, this can possibly do 85 damage. Mid-roll, it's like 55 damage. I don't think that's cringe. I think that's, that's really good. Okay. Buy that enchantment. Successfully enchanted. The thing I wanted to look at, because um, even with 2300 int, 
I was unable to take an exquisite, exquisite amulet and fortify... Because I, I noticed that actually I have all of the fortify attributes here, not just the ones I have spells for, so that's pretty cool. But I wanted to see about fortifying strength on self for a decent duration, let's say... Because this is like, I have a bunch of loot and I want to bring it home. Oh, whoa. Okay, this goes far beyond like what I'm able to pay for. And what the... Yeah, no, it, it can't even hold this. This exquisite amulet can only hold 120 and this thing's already far past it. If I bring this down to 2 minutes, then that's exactly what it can do. It can do 20 strength for 2 minutes. That's not enough. Like, alchemy does that better. Alchemy seems to do fortifying of, like, attributes and stuff better. Um, I also have Feather. It kind of does the same thing, unfortunately. Put it for two minutes, put it at 20, and it's exactly the same as Strength. Two minutes seemed like the correct amount to, like, be able to continue exploring, grabbing the rest of whatever dungeon or so I'm in, then being able to leave. But oh well. That's not the real thing I want to do with the amulet. The real thing is Chameleon. On self for about 15 seconds. 100% Chameleon. The enchantment can do it. The cast cost is a little high, but fine. In 15 seconds of not being able to be seen, I can cast this three times before this thing needs to recharge. Which to me sounds like plenty. And duration of 15 seconds should also be plenty. I could lower the duration, and then I get to cast it significantly more times. About 10 seconds. And here I'm not even looking at the price. The price means nothing. I can do 42,000. I think 10 seconds is still enough. You can actually switch... Hmm. You can switch from one spell to another quite fast. What about it? Yeah, this is, this is for Chameleon. 10 seconds. I will actually... I don't know if that's enough. I'm gonna... I'm going to... Back out of this real quick. I guess I'll, I'll quickly grab back the 7k I just spent on the club. I can't believe the club costs so little in comparison to the other things. Um, hmm. Hmm, I guess I won't get that back. Because I... Oh, this is the best this is ever going to do. I want to quick save, and I want to see how this works, because Chameleon 100 might still, like, need a second before the game recognizes that you're not being seen for you to get the, the little stealing icon to know that you're safe. But let's see. 100, duration of 10. Let's see if it works. And I definitely think I want that on the quick bar. Yeah, I definitely think I want that on the quick bar. I'll even, uh, I'll put it like over here. Do I want it on the quick bar? Or is that something I'm going to be rarely doing because it's like very specific? I don't know, maybe it and the, uh, the big opening amulet take over the and point barrier in 5 to 20 point strength for 30 seconds. This amulet of mighty blows is actually extremely valuable in comparison to the others. Oh, this needs to be replaced by the uh Doc and Og. <laughs> put that there. Or at the very least, maybe let's actually put the big open ring there. The skeleton key ring. I've made the skeleton key ring. I just made the uh, the other bit. 
the exquisite amulet of Chameleon. So, let's see. Nope. Hmm. That didn't work. You flatter me. The 100% chameleon did not work. Why not? Why didn't why didn't that work? What does chameleon mean if it doesn't mean that? Well, now I'm going to have to figure this out. I was sneaking, yeah. I guess it was not a officially sneaking now. So let's see. Um, does this mean I have to already not be seen by them? Is it possible that I am so bad at stealth that even a hundred chameleon isn't enough? Like, let's see. As I pass here, I am seen. If I break LOS, I am no longer seen. I chameleon into LOS. I'm seen. So a hundred chameleons not enough. It needs to be more. It's like almost enough, but I'm so bad at sneaking that it's not. because my sneak is, uh, six. Wow. I did not expect that I was so bad at sneaking that I would actually have to, like... I would have to make, like, a 200% amulet or something. I'm going to max out. Nah, I'd like to be able to cast it twice. Let's get it to 100. So, 227 chameleon for 10 seconds. A price of 96k. call it the chameleon cloak just because that's like a really cool thing to call it the person just like sigh at me okay let's see how this works real quick so what about right in front of you oh there we go okay so i'm completely invisible to them now I'm, I'm touching them and I'm invisible. It seemed like somewhere between 100 and 227 is what I need. Yeah, but I do need to see, like, can I pickpocket or, you know, reverse pickpocket people? Can I put a piece of paper in her inventory? No, but she also doesn't freak out about it. Grab him! Filthy sweat! Fuck, as I did that time. Um, okay. Impressive. These clothes suit you well. Okay, so somewhere between that range is what I need. But I probably don't need all 227 chameleon. So I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna be doing some uh I'm I'm gonna be doing some testing, and I will come back once I found the right number. Alrighty. After some testing, I have concluded that um, sneaking is fucking buggy as hell. And even when the symbol is down here in the bottom left, uh, I can be touching them, like literally on top of them, with uh, about this amount of chameleon. And sometimes they'll see me take an item despite it saying that I'm hidden, and sometimes they won't. And then there are very strange spots of LOS where I won't be near anybody, and it'll just say that I am seen. So, I'm just going to pump as much into this as possible, purchase it, 
and then try to get my money back. <laughs> Far, I've done a good job. Uh, did I have anything else to sell? Oh yeah, the Ring of Khajiit. I end up losing out on 2,000 here, but I don't think I can be very sad about that. Alrighty. Yeah, that is everything I brought to sell. That is all of the big items that I have brought. And I get my 100,000 back. Okay, so I did want to try one other thing. I brought another exquisite amulet and a grand gem. It's just that, like, for the most part, it's kind of been a little disappointing. Feather and fortifying strength has been, like, really, really small. Like, even if I made, made it so that feather is only, like, 30 seconds... I can fit 80 feather for 30 seconds on an amulet, and it'll cost 102,000. 80 is not enough. It's it's really not enough. I would want something big. I want I want something big out of it. So instead, I want to make a jump. I want to make. I want it to give me a jump for about five seconds, just long enough to like cast it then jump. And I want it to be in a, a magnitude of 161. Huh. That's also 100,000, though. And I don't have the stuff to get that money back. So maybe I wait until I get a bunch of more uh, Demora and Daedric stuff to do so. The cost goes down significantly if I just lower the duration. And I could have my 161 jump. If I put it down to one second, it's only 20k. Do you think I'd be able to, to set that up and do it right? Do you think if I set the duration to just one second for a, a big jump, I would be able to, to correctly jump as I wanted? Because it's just the jump, right? The duration doesn't have to, like keep remaining as you're in the air for you to continue receiving the benefit, right? Oh, I guess I have no idea. I should test it. <laughs> I think people will want to see it too. Okay, let's see how jump works. Why is she frozen? Well, no big deal. Just a little frozen. Let's do jump for a single second at however much I can afford to see how this works. I can do 500. And if I go to 2, it's that is too much. So we will do 1 second of 500. 500 jump. I guess we could do 1 second of 500 jump, and then we could also fortify agility. Nah, the moment we try to add any more things like that. Can I do 2 jumps? You could, but you can't. Like, it's, it's too much. Enchantment goes way the fuck up when you do that. There's slow fall in here. Do I not actually own the slow fall spell? No, I don't. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh well, let's just make this real quick. I saved, right? I believe I did. Let's see how this thing works. So I must be going. When is the, the the quick save is like right before I Yeah, it's right before I closed it. Hmm. I don't wanna do it here, I wanna do it somewhere where it's nice and clear and I can see everything. Well, just wait. Okay. Go to uh Balmora. Alrighty. Let's point towards Vivek. Not that I particularly think this will get me all the way there. Let's point towards Vivek. Let's do 
the boots as well to see how that helps. Oh. Uh. Hmm. All right, so I've passed Vivek. I, um... I don't know where I am. I'm now in the wilderness, it says. So that's jump 500 <laughs> for one second. This is... Okay. Um, the boots might have been unnecessary. That is a bit much. <laughs> Let's try it without the boots and see what Jump 500 does. I didn't even use, like, all the charge. You know, I don't even think the boots had an effect on it in the end. Can I, can I slow down? Can I hold S? Can I hit the brake? The brake. The brake! Go back that way! No, no, it is. You are sent. Alright. My opinion, you don't need jump 500. In my opinion, less, less will do fine. Alright. But it is nice to see that that is, that is something that can and I will do. Because <laughs> I am doing that. You only need one second. I only need one second. Let's see, um, let's see what a fifth of that does. Just a jump 100. Just a simple little jump 100. Yeah, that's not a big deal, right? That's not a big deal. I don't need anything else with it. It's like jump 100, sure. Fine. <laughs> let's go see what this does. Angle myself towards, um, that big son-of-a-bitch mountain over there. Nah, that, 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 that feels like spoiling something for me. Um, let's see if I can hit, see if I can hit Vivek. I don't think I'm going to hit Vivek. I'm going to go a fifth of the distance. How about this? Let's angle towards Caldera, and if I miss Caldera, I'll hit Vivek. I know what I know what happened. I know what no, 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 I know what happened. How wonderful. Welcome. It did the same It did it did the thing that the other one did. It did the thing where if you put something for only one second but you don't touch the duration bar, it doesn't actually count. You have to mess with the duration bar, then it counts. Okay, okay, fine. It's it's fine, it's fine. I made another one. I find I made another one. It's fine. It's fine, I made another one. Shut up. Alright, angled towards Caldera. Huh, what's this place? <laughs> what was that? Fuck man. Cute. Alright, so 100 is much more subdued. It simply leaps over a town or two. Instead of the continent. A little jump with slow fall helps push it a lot further. There's Caldera. Hello, Caldera. Okay, so jump does not like well actually I don't I don't know because I 
I don't know if jump was open. Let's see. Just going up. I need to press it just before I hit the ground. So, jump 100. How do we feel about that? It's not as cool. Well, jump is never going to be practical for a dungeon. How about 200? Let's let's see if 200 hits that hits that nice little sweet spot. Yeah. This is funny. Levitate with speed boots is not funny. This is very funny. So, by all rights, I should reach Caldera with this. Can't see shit. Yep, there it is. Somewhere down there. There is a caldera below me. West Gash. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think that's doing about what I would expect a jump thing to do. Now, I guess, like, the question would be, what the fuck is that? Frost Atron arc? The question would be, like, what's the point? <laughs> and you may be right. To be honest, I now that I've done it, I actually don't know why I would want... <laughs> why I would want a, uh, a massive jump spell. What, what, what point does it serve? Um... I think a 100 jump is fine, because I think there are a lot of moments where I'm just like stuck behind a mountain, or I'm like stuck from Narmok to Endrasareth, and I know it's right there, but it's just going to like take a minute to get to it, and I could just jump to it. Nah, this is like one click. Nah, that's that's boring. That's very boring. Water breathing is boring. I will not be doing that. Does higher levitate just like make you faster? Like the magnitude? I guess it says. Magnitude is the speed at which the subject can move through the air. You lied to me. Yeah, that, that steel blade that I have with its magnitude, like, 50 levitate for 30 seconds is worth 200,000. It fucks very hard. Well, resist Magicka. For, like, 10 seconds of, uh, 100. Like, 85,000. Hmm. Yeah, no, I was just wondering, like, what... Water breathing... Self duration like a minute twenty fifteen K with a swift swim on the self of a hundred twenty magnitude I don't fucking know some amount oh already can't do it <laughs> 
Nah, that's boring stuff. I'm gonna make a jump. I'm making a duration one second, 100 magnitude jump. And I swear to you, this is gonna come in handy. It's gonna come in handy. This is good. This is a good and fun thing. <laughs> frog legs. Tar heels frog legs. Alright. There we go. I'm sure there's nothing better I could be doing with this. I'm sure that instead of jump 100 points, I could be putting like a fireball that does 200 damage or something. I actually do want to see like target an area of zero for duration of one. I was actually low on my estimate. I could do like a 320 fire damage <laughs> enchantment. Just choose one thing and nuke the fuck out of it. <laughs> okay, back to the jump. <laughs> a single second of 100. It only costs 12k too. That's the best part about this. It only costs 12k. Honestly, the next thing would be then, um, you probably shouldn't use your Grand Soul Gem on this. No, that's actually correct. I should not use my Grand Soul Gem on this. Ooh, an Amulet of Mark would actually be super cool. I think. Eh. I'm no longer as convinced by what I said. Nah, I don't think so. Um... This is a fucking goblin. <laughs> well, How may I help you? Thanks. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend. <laughs> Every day I cross those two. And every day I show nothing but disdain for them. How delightful. Welcome. Is this beating the game? Is this what it feels like to have beaten the game? Because I've done it. Impressive. But that's actually not this entirely true. There are still enchantments that are far out of my price range. And I... Man, I, I must have them. Okay, this is fine. Frog legs. Or should it be frog's legs? Nah, that's awkward. Just do that. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are... These are good. I, mean, I guess at some point I wanted to do a, um... Like a, a fortified personality or something, but apparently that... That stuff is fucking nasty. I don't have one for it. It doesn't matter. Um... Do like fortify personality on self for a duration of it would only need to be like five seconds. And suddenly this thing needs Yeah, I know it's a piece of paper, but I'm just trying to see. Huh, it would only need 25 enchantment. I guess if you're doing a very, very short buff, you could do like What about What if I fortified int? For only five seconds, because that's all it takes to then put the, like, to do all my alchemy. That's not worth it. Just drink the potions I already made. Just drink the potions I already made. All right. Well, this has been weird. This has been very weird. I like it. I like what I have done. I have put myself in some strange positions. One day I'll learn how to why why am I bothering to talk to you? I can enjoy watching you take your last breath. You 
flatter me with your attention. I meant to press F. Did I just like not make the, the frog legs? Yeah, because I I don't have the yeah okay. I I accidentally hit her. I accidentally pulled out my hammer and just fucking donked her. Gotta go back and remake my amulet again. Man, I didn't mean to bash her head in with the with the freezer burn. That wasn't my intention. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Is she okay? She's been acting really funky. Thank you. Okay. I need to go eat. It's like 7.30 p.m. I ate... I think lunch. <laughs> I think I ate lunch. At like 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I can edit it out. <laughs> they could know. Uh, this is sick. This is awesome. I need to go back and finish off whatever's happening on that mainland. I did kill the Dark Brotherhood, but I guess I gotta talk to a guard and start whatever the next bit of all that is. But now, I am wrapped in the Cloak of the Chameleon. And I can jump real high. That's that's very funny. That's very funny. Oh, I forgot I had another one of these. Should have sold that to her. Oh, and I guess I have Shock and Og. Oh. Poor dwarf on the rocks. It didn't deserve to be replaced so soon. This is a blunt weapon, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely going to need to like bring hammers with me from now on. So not all 20, but definitely like five of them. Okay, that's enough for today.